In this lesson, we'll continue layering in additional color and value for our character's hair. All right, fantastic. So this is kind of where we're at. We've got a good start on the hair, but we're still needing to add in a lot more color and value here. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Um, again, we talked in the last lesson about adding in warmth, uh, and we've used some of these warmer colors like this one here. And you can see here, when we come in and darken an area with this color, and, and it's completely opaque, um, it's, it's actually pretty warm. But when we're just kind of layering it in with strokes, it's not having the effect that we want. So uh, we can come in here and continue working with colors like this one. But, you know, we're not limited to just these brown tones in this color palette to create our hair. We can always jump back over here to the oranges and even the reds if we wanted to come in and add some additional warmth to the hair. So I'm going to come in and do just that. You can see here how layering in this red lightly is adding in some of that warmth. It may even come in with a little darker tone of that red. And we can even come in here and use some oranges if we're wanting to do that as well. So um, coming in, that one's actually pretty saturated, so it may not go quite that saturated. And we'll come in and use a little colorless blender right there, just to kind of mix those in a little bit better. Now again, trying not to be too detailed with this right at this point. We're probably going to spend one more lesson after this just kind of cleaning up some of the smaller areas of the hair. Um, but really for the most part, um, you can see here how this particular highlight on this opposite side is really, really just white and it's uh, needs to be come over with maybe a, a lighter value sort of like that that's feeling a little bit better here come in with some darker tones here all right fantastic so again in the ponytail we're gonna try and warm that up some Just increasing and decreasing the size of our brush as needed. And if we need to, we can always go for some of those reds or even purples if we're really working a dark area. So uh, come over here maybe and grab uh, some of these and see what these look like. And let's try this one here. It's really getting darker in that area there. I feel like we should probably maybe try and desaturate it a little bit. So we could come over here and grab maybe a purple. Or even maybe a blue, depending on kind of which direction you want to go. We've used purples in the face, so I'm going to kind of stick to the purples uh, in the shadows. And let's shrink that down some, kind of hit under here some. You can see how this particular purple isn't really having a very dramatic effect under here. This area that where we've gone quite a bit darker. So um, I'm going to kind of bounce back over here and get some reds in there. Maybe even some oranges. And we grab our colorless blender. We need to blend some of those in together, sort of like that. All right, fantastic. So uh, let's come back in, kind of just working, uh, continuing to work down here. Cleaning our blender as we need to. And just come over here and add in some value back here. I don't want to go quite as dark in this area right here because I feel like this is really more of just a sort of a tuft in the hair. So come in and maybe hit just right around in here a little bit. Maybe down into here. Just mixing in some, some reds and oranges into the hair as well. 
Now we've kind of ignored this area right here. I'm going to move over to that at this point. Uh, just kind of again working all around the hair. So uh, we'll come in here if we need some, uh, depending on what color we need, we probably want to start with some oranges here. So come in and kind of bring some oranges in right in this area. And we'll go ahead and go a little darker. And if we need to blend some, we can do that. Come in and hit this area here. And I'm actually going to hit that with, uh, let's go ahead and hit that with a purple. Maybe start with this one here. It's getting a little bit muddy back there. It's okay. So once you kind of get used to uh, using colors like this and layering them on top of each other, you should be getting faster at this process. So uh, we're going to come in and just kind of continue to bring in some of these browns. You can see I've switched back to a lighter tone at this point, and I'm using that as kind of a blender for some of these areas. Let's go ahead and go back over here. We could even use some of these browns off this lighter desaturated tab if we need to. And come in and mix in some of these darker, more saturated colors. Um, again, I'm not convinced that some of these desaturated ones are the right option just yet. So uh, still wanting to darken and saturate the hair some. And if we need to, we can come over and run over this highlight again. Don't want to hit that highlight too much in that area. But I do want to add some depth, some more saturation and value into that area as well. So kind of getting down to these little strands of hair. I'm not going to spend a lot of time. We'll work on those more in the next lesson. Uh, but you can see here how even the shadows on this side of the head, they're not going to be quite as dark nor are they going to be quite as saturated as kind of where we went on this side over here. So um, just an observation. And hit this area right back here a little bit. And we'll use a colorless blender to kind of blend some of that. All right, fantastic. So that's starting to really pop out and, and look a lot more like brown hair. Now, you can also see kind of in some of these areas where the highlights are, those highlights, we really need to bring those values up to those highlights. So um, I'm going to kind of continue to work on doing that here. Just sort of like that. And I'm going to try and be really careful as I approach the highlights um, because I want to be able to define the edges of them a little bit better. They're, remember, we kind of cheated a little bit and smudged those a couple lessons back. So I want to really kind of start to define that highlight edge. I really want it to almost appear like it's a, sh a sheer or a shine on her head. Uh, from the light source. So coming in kind of with this orangish color right now and just kind of carefully feathering at the edge of the highlight. If 
get a little bit too far again you can use your colorless blender run it over it a few times and then come back in and define that a little bit better and if we need to we can always again use some uh, darker values to sort of creep those in I'd be really careful with those though I don't want them to go just haywire in that area All right, fantastic. I'm switching back over here to the purples at this point, and I'm going to work in kind of some of these areas over here back behind the ponytail. Um, I tell you what, uh, this is kind of a repetitive process here. I want to work a little bit more on the hair in between this lesson and the next lesson, but you can really see how the hair is starting to pop out nicely. So um, in the next lesson, we'll spend one more lesson just sort of cleaning up some of the details of the hair, uh, sort of fine-tuning it. So uh, we'll get started with that in the next lesson.